perfect misanthrope's heaven, and Mr. Heathcliff and I are such a suitable pair to divide the desolation between us. Pray, don't imagine that he conceals depths of benevolence and affection beneath the stern exterior. He's not a rough diamond, a pearl containing oyster of a rustic. He's a fierce, pitiless, wolfish man. I'm sure you would have as much pleasure as I in witnessing the conclusion of the fiend's existence. He'll be your death unless you overreach him, and he'll be my ruin. Damn the hellish villain. I'd rather he kill himself. He extinguished my love effectually. The devilish nature would have revealed its existence somehow. Monster. Would that he could be blotted out of creation out of my memory. He is not a human being. His visits were a continual nightmare to me. His abode at the height was an impression past explaining. I felt that God had forsaken the sheep there to its own wicked wandering, and an evil beast prowled between it and the fold, waiting for his time to split and disappear. Heathcliff is the tragic hero of Wuthering Heights. He is described as a withdrawn, violent, and unsympathetic sociopath. All in all, he is more villain than hero. A man whose soul burns with hatred, revenge, and passion. The events of his child from being an orphan to living under Henley's abusive tyranny have shaped him to the man we see. These clips shows the impact of our experiences have in shaping in who we become, and warns the dangers of allowing extreme emotions to go unchecked. Heathcliff is haunted by unrighted love and is unable to make peace with Catherine's death. Even after he has achieved his revenge, he is unhappy because nothing will bring her back. His cruelty and violence stems from the pain constantly ringing inside him. However, let's go back further. One of the reasons Heathcliff is unable to move to the accept in his grief is that he has a constant reminder of Catherine. Kathy's daughter-in-law is nearly identical to her mother and is a constant reminder of what Heathcliff has lost. His violence towards her are manifestations of his internal turmoil. Heathcliff is inherently evil. Throughout his life he has been told that he must take what he wants and that the world is against him. One of the results of his upbringing is that he was never taught restraint and allowed extreme emotions to rule him. These emotions will eventually lead his downfall. His miscommunicated, unrequited love drives him to leave Wuthering Heights for three entire years. One of the reasons Heathcliff is treated poorly is because of his status. He has been treated like this for as long as he can remember and doesn't know true love and affection. His entire life he has been called derogatory names such as Imp of Staten and Gypsy. Heathcliff becomes a character that Bronte uses to explore the consequences of psychological trauma and the impact of one's upbringing. Bronte shows us that as we live, we are as we live, we are taught, are conditioned since childhood to come to who we are as adults. Heathcliff's childhood is a crossroad for his future. He has the potential to receive love, support, and care allowing him to go into a well-adjusted man because he is deprived of this. He remains fettered to the idea that there is no good in the world. Looking at his childhood gives insight to the abuse and neglect he has endured and the events that has led to the bitter villainous character in the novel's present. Heathcliff is pardonable and sympathizable because his reactions embody the dark side of human nature. The intense emotional joy and anguish he experiences leads to his downfall. But these emotions are so human and so innate to all of us that Heathcliff's characters resonate within us. Because Heathcliff is a villain, he is able to relate the reader on a level that is unreachable to a perfect moralistic hero. He is imperfect and broken, and that is what is, makes him human. He becomes an example of the importance of childhood experiences in shaping one's views of the world and warning of the consequences in allowing violent emotions to go unchecked.